we celebrate music, art, and culture at the Bivens Gallery for the Psychedelic Robot Exhibit. Earlier this week, we stopped by to check out a private viewing of the art. This is 13,000 square feet of space. We've got over 25 different artists from all over the world that have come in here and created this whole uh, exhibition. Now we're back tonight so we can see up and coming artist Cure for Paranoia, as well as Houston legend UGK's own Bun B. So I ran into Brandon. Brandon, I have to say, this is definitely a work of art. This is amazing. How long did it take you? Uh, to come up with this concept, or was it kind of something that just came out? You know, honestly, they just kind of threw this at me and uh, and told me that, you know, they wanted to tell me a little story about myself and, uh, you know, the robotics, and uh, I wanted to make a play off of that, you know, and so, um, you know, the MTV is, I wanted to say something about our past programming our future, and that's kind of what we are. Everything in life is about the intake that you've taken with all of the hits and what you've done in your life and, you know, relationships and everything that goes into that past to kind of program you to be who you're going to be. So if you look at it, you know, it has this channel that goes down to the back and it's programming this guy and he's like, really, it says upload data. And, you know, it's really kind of projecting who we're going to be in the future. Right. A lot of times we think we are, you know, ourselves, individuals, because of something we've done. But really it's because of the people that have helped us get where we're at or caused us to be where we're at or, you know, and, and sometimes we just got to accept that and, and, and learn that we're a piece of the yeah. system too, right? So I ran into Bun B back here at Brandon's gallery. Uh, didn't know you were an art type, right? Do you collect art? Uh, I do. I do collect art. I have a couple of pieces from uh, Dave White and Futura at the house. You know, some guys that I really look up to. And, but it's amazing to just come here and see my friend's installation, though. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different types of art, you know what I'm saying? From murals to paintings, mixed media, yeah. everything. It's really amazing how he sees the world and the way he's able to interpret it. And I'm right. really impressed. I've seen some things before, but this this whole build out right here is really impressive. It is. It's pretty intense. Um, so there are a lot of programs I know that are in schools uh, that are actually looking to like get rid of like their art programs. They're not funding the art programs, especially when it comes to music and it comes to art. Um, how do you feel about that as far as, you know, art and music being like one of those vital things that we need in the world? Like what's the world without art, you know? Well, I, I, I don't think we're giving the children the space to become themselves in school as we used to. In yeah. Living in Texas, a lot of education is based around testing and everything, you know what I'm saying? So we're not really teaching kids to be individuals, we're teaching kids to to all follow a certain pattern and a certain flow. And I think we're I think we're holding our children back right now when we do that. And I think we need to have more platforms and more accessibility for children to be able to express themselves and whatever it is, whether it's music, whether it's art, whatever it is, you know, we need to be able to let children's minds flow and let them be free in this world. And, you know, I think we're stunning a lot of growth um, intellectually when we don't allow our children these type of outlets, you know? Thanks. So Michael, awesome job tonight. Thanks. I'm probably gonna come back and watch Psychedelic Robot like 30 more times. Um, so thank you for this experience again and good luck to you in your future. My pleasure, thank you so much, thank appreciate you. it.